you ask the average person on the street how many continents there are on our planet, most would be able to name six or seven. But few are actually aware that there is a hidden continent. A continent, Zealandia, this little geological plate that New Zealand sits on, is really the size of India. It's huge. That continent that's only really recently been outlined by a lot of geological research out to sea is the most submerged of the continents in the world, uh, extending from New Caledonia in the north down to uh, Campbell Island in the south and out to the Chathams in the east. It's a very exciting new paradigm. And uh, let's face it, when is another continent going to be found on this planet? Never. And it's so diverse. You've got the tropical paradise of New Caledonia, the surreal volcanic world of the North Island, the island sanctuary spread along our coastline. The South Island is one of the most beautiful places in the world, a mixture of majestic mountains and crystal clear lakes. And then there's the species that frequent our subantarctic islands. Zealandia is a place where there's been an enormous change over, quite rare in geological terms, a rapidly short time. And the wildlife in this isolated part of the world has had to adapt, and it's adapted in some very surprising ways. Giant flatworms the size of a school ruler, carnivorous snails as big as the palm of my hand, giant wetters, they're like grasshoppers on steroids. We live in an extraordinary place. Kiwis, cowrie trees, big flightless parrots. These are the sort of creatures that you don't find in other countries. We have to tell their stories. Plants, we underappreciate. There is a whole story that isn't told. People know we have a special flora, People generally know that we have kauri trees and people know we have silver ferns. But do people really know our flora? I don't think so. Kauri is the largest tree in the world. Most people don't even know that. So I think we've got a lot to tell. It's so different from anything else that's around the world. We've got elements of so many different kinds of natural environments and they all sit happily together. We've got primitive forests uh, that you could picture dinosaurs in. The seas around our coast are larger than many other countries and such diversity in the seas is just amazing. We know that Kiwis can't fly. We've seen tuataras sitting on locks, but there's more to it than that. Kiwi birds can be brutal fighters. There's centipedes that eat geckos. There are, there are so many stories out there that haven't been told and our goal is to tell them. I filmed the photographs of over 5,000 different species in seven continents. And I know that the discovery of Zealandia has changed our understanding of the region's natural history. We now have a different perspective on where things came from and what made it the way it is. The biota here actually has a different history than, than a lot of other places. And I think that's what's really exciting about it. Because it's only when you start to pull that stuff apart you realise that there are bigger stories here. And some of those stories are almost like the sorts of things you'd expect from a science fiction novel. That's pretty, pretty neat stuff. There are few areas left on our planet that haven't been documented well. And we have a rare opportunity to create something quite special, focusing on a subject that's new to the vast majority of people watching. I believe there's a real desire to see and hear these stories on our screens, concentrating not on human achievements, but focusing on natural environments and the behavior of the species that live in it. I believe this is marketable all over the world. It's fresh, it's exciting, it's, it's something that's never been done before. The potential now is tremendous and the technology can take us places that we will never be able to go and reveal 
behaviour that's never been revealed before give the world a sense of how extensive, how vast, how different, how unique, how utterly extraordinary the continent actually is.